welcome back. We'll start out here with the Mansfield Skycam, which is also still in night mode, but doesn't stop you from seeing all the cloud cover, just as overcast skies, and we're going to stay like that for pretty much all day. Clouds will just stay put and allowing a lot of that rain to just come through. But we are in a gap right now, but not too long from now. We're going to see more showers start to fall, and the rain will just keep on coming throughout the region. Really just sitting in the 40s across most of the area, and it looks like, aside from Binghamton, we have 40s on the entire map. So aside from that 39 in Binghamton, it's 40s everywhere. 44 in Bath right now, 47 in Elmira. We go a little bit further to the northeast. We see a 43 in Ithaca and another 42 in Ridgebury, joining a 42 in Appalachian. So overall, mainly 40s right now, fairly average for this time of year. The average low is 40 for today. Now, satellite and radar, we saw this cluster of rain push through and bring us a decent chunk of rain. The rain gauge here at the station, it's got about half an inch for us right now, but more is on the way. You can see northwest Pennsylvania really getting bombarded with a heavier, couple of heavier bands here still pushing through and some more showers moving over Lake Erie. Those will get to us within the next couple of hours. But for right now, we're in a gap, but clouds staying put, overcast skies in store for us for much of the day. Now temperatures are going to fluctuate across the region. Now if you're in the northern, if you're in the northern tier, I almost pointed at the southern tier when I said that, if you're in the northern tier, you're likely going to see a little bit of a temperature increase because less cloud cover and perhaps not, not less rain, but more chances of getting a couple bursts of sunshine that bring those temperatures up into the 60s briefly. If you're in the southern tier, the Finger Lakes, much more likely to be sitting in the 50s. Uh, could be in, if you're in Steuben County, more cloud cover, so bringing that temperature down closer to 50. But if you're in Elmira, if you're in Owego, areas closer to the state line, few extra bursts of sunshine, maybe a little bit of extra areas of warm air could bring the temperature up into the mid 50s. But one thing that's for certain, it's going to be cloudy all day. It's going to be very l lucky if we do get a brief peak of sunshine for the most part, just staying on that cloudy side. Rain chances do increase significantly once we switch from 10 to 11 o'clock. Got some decent chances of rain, but then slowly but surely decreases throughout the day. Mainly going to be in the, the late morning, early afternoon, we see the most more of rain that is still, the most rain that's still to come, I should say. Now looking ahead, got a couple of these showers, heavier bands making their way through. And then we get into the afternoon, you can see lighter shades of green, spottier showers moving through. But then not too long after that, perhaps another more heavier cluster of showers coming in later in the evening. And we move further into Monday. Yes, that is pink on the map. There is a chance for some higher elevations off to the west to see a wintry mix on Monday. I know it might not be the best, might not be the best thing right now, but it is cold enough to get a couple of those bursts of extra uh, wintry precipitation for our area. 57 today, 41 the low tonight. So very chilly day with lots of rain in the forecast and more rain to follow from Monday to Wednesday. Temperatures in the 40s, lows in the 30s. And we'll see a little bit of more bursts of sunshine come around for Thursday, stretching into Saturday. We could see a brief warm up back to the 60s.